Hi Scorpio, welcome back to my channel, you guys. This is your bonus. Who is missing you reading? Okay, you guys, let's jump into your reading. Let's see what's going on. Who is missing my Scorpios at this time, you guys? Let's see. If it doesn't resonate, check your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, North Node. Especially when it pertains to love, you, you would want to check your Venus, okay? Um, Jupiter and Mars, depending on which one you see more as the husband, because they can both be seen as the husband, so um, you guys could check them. As well, if this is a relationship, okay? <clears throat> I'm a little congested. I do apologize, you guys, in advance. All right. So, right off the bat, what I'm getting is this person is very stubborn, okay? You guys could be mirroring you in this, in this aspect because I feel like you could be stubborn too, but they're very stubborn, whoever this is, okay? I would not be surprised if it was an Aquarian or a Leo. I'm hearing Aries, okay? It's missing you right now. I also heard Virgo, okay? So, Gemini. <laughs> You're like, of all the fucking signs, Gemini, right? Okay, so, oh, we got the Six of Cups. You know what? This card has been popping out a lot just to confirm that I needed to do these ratings, okay? This is a nostalgia card. So, this person is heavily missing you at this time, all right? That's the first card out. So, that energy is very strong. Libra is here. Virgo is here in the position of, how, ugh, position of how you're being seen. You have a lot of options. Seven of Swords. Ooh, they want to tell you the truth. This person wants to tell you the truth. Seven of Swords in the obstacle position in the reverse. So it's really hard for them. Oh, we got Leo. Pisces. All right. Virgo. Double Virgo. Mirroring. Wow. You have Aquarius here. Everybody, everybody that I thought was going to come out came out. <laughs> Almost everybody except for Pisces. Pisces, I didn't think Pisces, but um, we have Aquarius here. We have Virgo, double Virgo, and we have Libra, and we have Leo, we have Pisces, okay? Um, wow. <sighs> Scorpio, you could share a child with this person. You do. You share a child with this person with the Three of Pentacles mirroring the Pinches of Wands. This could be an Earth, bleh. this could be an Earth sign child. So a Virgo? You have a Virgo child with this person? You have double Virgo here, okay? Um, or Pisces? A Libra child, okay? Others of you, it could be a Leo child or Libra. Yeah, we have Libra, Virgo, Pisces here, Aquarius child, okay? I'm hearing it's a, a you share a child with this person. You share a child. You, if you guys are dealing with a Sagittarius, go check out that reading, okay? If you have Sagittarius in your chart, check out that reading, okay? Um, it might be your story. It really might be your fucking story, okay? Um... <clears throat> Excuse my language. I'm going to do Libra after this reading. So you guys check out Libra if you're dealing with a Libra. All right. Um, but yeah. Wow. Hold on one second because my son is at home and he's actually being really loud. So hold on. My apologies in advance, you guys. He's a little sick today. So he's at home with his mommy. All right. So we have the three of pentacles mirroring the princes of wands. You definitely share a child with this person. This You have your guard up. So it's a Leo. We have a strength card in the reverse. It's a Leo for someone here with the Queen of Swords. If you could be in this energy of where you do not want to deal with this Leo, okay? You definitely share a, you definitely share a child with this person. I feel like you're realizing more and more why you walked away. You're realizing more and more. You're like, this is why I left and this is why I'm not coming back, okay? Because I feel like you, you're, you have your guard up to this person. Um, yeah, with the Seven of Cups and how they feel about you with the Star card. Oh my God. Oh my god! Okay, so the star I just see like you getting some sort of recognition here. Okay, with this with the star card, it's like this is like very outer worldly. This is like NASA, this is like you know, astrology, astronomy, this is the study of the stars. This could quite literally be you working with the stars, I'm hearing. Celebrities, okay. Oh my god, this person's gonna come back in. When they realize something, okay? This person's going to realize something. Oh, I feel bad for this person. If this is a Leo or a Pisces, this person, or Libra, okay? They're realizing something a little late. I just got done telling Sagittarius about this because I feel like women and men, they heal differently. They heal, they process things differently, especially breakups, okay? This person's going to come and tell you the truth only after the fact. It's like you already know the truth. They're going to come in and tell you the truth and try to take away from the fact that you already know. And it's like, bitch, but I know. I know what happened. I know what was, what was going on, and I know what kind of person you are. 
And this is this is definitely telling me this is a love interest too because we have the nine of cups in the reverse with the seven of cups in reverse and it feels like you're you're, you're choosing yourself scorpio you are you're choosing yourself because the nine of pentacles is in the reverse and the hermit is in the reverse like i feel like you're coming out of something too gosh hold on one second you know the nine of pentacles is the only knight that crosses the finish line and it's very strategic it's in the reverse it's telling me that you are that you're the one that got away this person by the time they realize it You'll be on to something else with the Seven of Cups. You'll be on to something new. And I feel like you have no confusion about this. You know, with the Seven of Cups in reverse, I feel like you have a lot of options. And typically, the options card is confusing, but it's in the reverse. So I feel like there is no confusion about what it is you're doing or what it is you're choosing in life, whether this be romantic or um, some sort of like um, career driven endeavor. Okay. I feel like this is absolutely beautiful for you, Scorpio. Okay. I do. I feel like it's absolutely beautiful for you to go forward with whatever it is that you're deciding to do because the star card is about recognition. And you're getting recognition surrounding this. This could be anything from, I don't know, I'm getting a whole lot of a whole lot of energy surrounding aesthetics, beauty, especially with the Venus, um, sorry, the Queen of Swords mirroring the strength card. I don't know, I'm seeing like you could be a Leo Venus, Taurus Venus, Scorpio, I'm um, sorry, um, not Scorpio Venus, um, Leo Venus, um, Libra Venus, which is his natural relationship, and then uh, Taurus Venus. I'm also hearing um, Aries Venus, so the face. We have Aries Jupiter. You have like something about your face. Oh my God. If you're an Aries Jupiter or Aries North Node, you need to be in the spotlight more. If you're a Leo North Node, or if you're a Leo Jupiter, you need to be in the spotlight. Okay. If you're a Leo rising or uh, Aries rising, you need to be in the spotlight. Okay. Yeah. You're going to get, you're going to have some sort of, you're going to experience some sort of fame or recognition around something here. I feel like this is another thing. Like someone's worried that they're missing out on you. Okay. The Six of Cups is nostalgia. Seven of Swords in reverse is someone telling you the truth, being honest with you. You do have two sevens in your reading. Um, they're both in the reverse. All right. So you could be seeing the seven, seven, you could be seeing seven, seven, seven. Quite a bit. Okay. Or numbers that break down to the number um six. I'm hearing six. So five, 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 two, 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 seven, one, seven happens to be a twin flame number. Um, you could be seeing those numbers that break down to the number six, okay. Um, that's a family oriented number, the number six. Okay. If you notice the number six is, it looks pregnant. You could also be a life path number six. Okay. Yeah. Cause the six of cups came out first. Um, I'm also getting to like sixth house. Look at your sixth house. If you have Libra in your sixth house, there's a need to focus on your kidneys. You need to focus on your kidneys. Okay. Cause Libra is the kidneys. And if it's in the sixth house, um, I'm hearing you need to focus on that. All right. There's something about cleansing your kidneys or something like that. All right. With the six of cups, I'm getting a whole lot of energy surrounding your kidneys. Take care of them. That's for somebody out there. If, or or if, if it's not that you have Libra in your sixth house, you could have Libra Jupiter or Libra Saturn. And if you have it exalted, you need to focus on your kidneys. Okay, Scorpio? Yes, I'm talking to you. Okay. Um, just because Scorpio is the blood. So like I'm hearing something about the blood or the white blood cells. Look at your kidneys. Okay, you need to go have your kidneys checked. That's for somebody. All right. I don't know where that came from. That was just like, I feel like that's a warning. Somebody really needs to know that. Um, there's also something about alcoholism. So the kidneys, yeah, stop drinking. Stop drinking, okay? Because if, if, if you've been drinking, it's hindering whatever this is that's coming in. It's going to slow you down, okay? Yeah, you need to be careful because, you know, um, Libra Exalted, it could go either way. It's really, really good to have Libra in your chart Exalted. But if you're doing, if you have to understand how to use it. it you know, Libra is balanced, right? So um, it goes without saying, like, you need to practice that, okay? I feel like there's something here about that. Um, you're going to get whatever it is that you want. And I feel like too, um, with that being said, like, I feel like if whatever this person is going through right now and them realizing really late that you're getting what you want, they want to be a part of that. They're going to realize a little too late that you're getting what you want and that they want to be a part of that. Like, I feel like they're going to miss out on you, Scorpio, especially if this is a romantic interest. It could be friendship, you guys, but I feel like for a lot of you, it's romantic. Okay. We have the nine of cups. We have a lot of love here. Seven of cups and the six of cups. All right. Yeah, I do. I see a lot of love here, you guys. I see you going viral on social media with the Three of Pentacles. This is my viral card. Yeah, and you could be a trine. You could be a fire trine. So Aries, Leo, Sag, trined in your chart or your north node is trine. So you have Aries, Leo, Sag in your north node. Actually, I'm hearing Aries, Leo in your north node, not Sagittarius. Okay? It might be Sag, but I'm, I'm seeing like it's a trine between your rising. So your rising is trine in your north node. Your rising is your compass, Okay? It's like a compass. It's like a navigation system. So look at your rising sign, especially if like Libra rising. All right. I'm seeing something about your north node is trining your north, your, your rising sign. 
So, um, well, you could be a trine. You know, the trines represents gifts, talents, possessions, well, things that we, it's like, it can be possessions, but it's more so about your gifts, your qualities, okay? It's about things that are natural to you, okay? It's also about harmony. So yeah, if you have a lot of trines in your chart, your chart is very harmonious. You're, you could have a very harmonious life, all right? I'm also hearing check your chart progressed. Check your chart progressed, okay? Your natal chart progressed. Check it, okay? Check and see where it's at right now, all right? And correlated with what's going on in your life, okay? Because I feel like you guys need to know that, especially when it pertains to the 10th house. You could have Aquarius Midhaven or Pisces Midhaven, okay? Wow. Wow. Yeah, you guys are getting some sort of recognition. It's very outer worldly. I do see like, um, for someone here with the the Knight of Pentacles and the Hermit, I see I see a Nobel. This is for someone who is revolutionizing um, medicine, revolutionizing technology. I'm even hearing something that pertains to the, the beauty industry. So you could be revolutionizing something, a product, a serum, something that uh, something along the lines. I'm especially you, Scorpio, with if you have Libra Exalted, um, you could be revolutionizing something here. Okay, and when it pertains to beauty, you know, especially if you're a Libra Pluto generation, Libra Pluto generations, those um that generation is here to transform the uh, arena of beauty, the industry of beauty. Okay, so if you're doing that right now, um correlate correlate that with your North Node. Um, this whoever this person is is missing you. I feel like they're realizing you know who you are, and that you're that they you know like you you're not gonna come back. Okay, and by you not coming back, I feel like the fact that you're not coming back it scares this person. Especially if kids with this person, like if you have a baby's mother or baby's father, um, <clears throat> who's a Leo or a Pisces or a Libra, this person is. Oh, I'm hearing Virgo. Yeah, um, Aquarius. They're they're realizing a little late that they're missing out on you. Okay, I feel like too when they left, they were like stomping their feet. I see like this. This is someone who talks a big game. They talk a big game. Yeah, they they fucking talk a big game, and then later they fucking they they, they I don't know. I'm seeing like they put the foot. They put their foot in their mouth. Okay, so if you're dealing with any of these people or these signs, okay, I would say check out Libra's reading, okay, because I'm going to do that next. But um, check out Sagittarius is because I feel like there might be something in there for you because that was a little bit like the same. I'm hearing too, if you have kids with this person, your kids are telling you what they're doing and how much they talk about you. I feel like they watch you a lot too on social media. They watch you and they're like, like I feel like they want to be proud of you, whoever this is. Um, they want to be proud of you, but they can't, they can't take any... Um, like to be proud is sort of like taking sort of um how do you say like credit not taking credit but like acting like you were a part of it when you say you're proud of someone um it's almost as if you're like you have the right to be proud you know i feel like this person can't even say that because they weren't even in your fucking life so if this is a love interest um who was a person who should have supported you and they did it because maybe they undermine you maybe they undermine your intelligence maybe they undermine your wit your um your will okay because we have the queen of swords and the strength card so I don't know, I'm hearing like your wit, your intelligence, your will. Somebody undermined your authority. They undermined your um your service. They don't believe that you're a service. Yeah, with the Hermit Reverse, they didn't believe you had what it takes. And they're learning really late that it's too late. Like they're learning that you, you're actually everything you say you are. Or you're actually, you know what? You don't even have to say it, Scorpio. You just embody it. You just, you just exude it. Okay? You don't have to speak it people will just see right so you don't have to do that and i feel like they're realizing more and more that because you are acting in authenticity it speaks more it's louder than speaking it's louder than communicating it through your words okay um they're realizing more and more when you're acting in, in integrity that you are who you say you are okay so if it's a love interest too i feel like oh it a lot of men i'm not gonna say men i don't want to drag them down but like i feel like they drag us down so i'm gonna say it i'm gonna say it they always under they always underestimate us, and I feel like that's the problem. You know, that's what's that's the, that's what's creating the divide between men and women is that they have such a big ego, and they think they're better than you, and they think they're smarter than you, and faster and quicker, and all the shit, right? And I feel like you're showing this person there's another way. So, and by you leaving too, it's you standing in your power like this. Oh my god, it's so sexy. That's making them want to come back in too. That's making them like fuck, 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 fuck. What did I do? I feel like they're always comparing you two to other people. So, and I feel like, too, your kids, like, if you share kids with them, like, if again, if you have Sag in your chart or if you're dealing with Sagittarius, please check out that reading. Because it was a lot like this storyline where the kids were telling, like, sort of not telling on dad, but they were, like, telling their mom or their dad, like, hey, you know, they talk a lot about you, they're drinking a lot, they're doing this, they're doing that, and they won't shut up. And, you know, you may have the kids, you may have custody or something. I'm hearing you may have custody of these children, and they only go see their dad or their mom, like, once a week. 
you know, on the weekend, maybe one day a week. I don't know. But when they're there, it's like, oh, my God. You know, who let the dragon out? Because, like, this motherfucker, um, I feel like there's an obsession surrounding you because of the fact that they missed out. Or they maybe sabotage this connection. Because there's a, you have to understand, there's a reason why you guys are not together. Look at that reason, okay? Because the Queen of Swords, she's sort of like being reminded. Because, you know, the Queen of Swords has been hurt so much. And she's sort of looking at the hermit. She's she's very wise beyond her years, okay? Um, she wouldn't even have the authority position she has if she hadn't been hurt. So in a way, I mean, I don't want to give this person credit. If they hurt you... You know, you could just say thank you, okay? Just say thank you, because that's the, that's really what it is. It's just a fucking lesson, and at the end of the day, it just makes you better. And that's Libra. That's this. That's that's this Queen of Swords, okay? Um, especially with the string card in reverse, I feel like something that was meant to destroy you. I don't know. I'm hearing something that was meant to keep you um, weak. You transmuted that energy. That's that Scorpio. That's that Scorpio. I don't. Have, I don't know. I just said Scorpiano. Scorpiano, that's a scorpion shit. That's a scorpion shit, okay? To transform and transmute something that was supposed to hurt you, supposed to break you, destroy you. You transmuted that energy. And I feel like because you're doing that, it's sort of short, it's like a big ass fuck you in this person's face. Whoever this person is who undermined your authority, maybe told you that you weren't gonna do it, or you're never gonna do that. Oh, that's too hard. You ain't gonna do that. Like they were trying to instill doubt. I feel like this person failed, miserably failed, okay? And now they have FOMO. It's sort of like I don't know what I'm hearing too. Like, if you're if you have a lot of support now too, um, they have no choice but to support you. Okay, I do feel like this could be someone who you were engaged to for somebody. I don't know what I'm hearing you were engaged to this person. Yeah, for a brief moment you were engaged to this person, but then you guys started finding things out about each other, and that could have happened in the year 2020 to 2022. So between the year 2020 and 2022, all this stuff started coming out. Yeah, and I feel like as as soon as it came out. After the fact, this this person wanted to be honest. It's too late. There's no there's no going back, okay? Um, because they're realizing you were their wish fulfillment with the nine of cups, but it's in the obstacle position, so they're realizing it way too late. Um, and the star card is here, so you're getting some sort of recognition, baby. I don't know. I'm just here with the seven of cups too. Like when one door closes, another one opens. The seven of cups talks about options, all right? And it's 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 like you're not even confused. Yeah, seven of cups typically it would mean like you're confused about these options, and you know. There's a duality to it because like you you could be confused right but at least you have options right but in, in this case you have options but you're not confused and then you have a star card so i feel like you're charting you're charting the stars okay you're you're tracing i'm sorry i'm sort of seeing you studying yourself yeah you're you're tracing your steps you're tracing you're, you're tracing um yeah you're charting the stars unknown unknown territory this is aquarius revolution unknown okay this is the truth here. Yeah, this is the truth. You found the answer to something here. And I feel like you know, like, this person is no longer part of your path. They're no longer part of your destiny. And I think that's what's scary to them because they may be realizing late, like, oh my God, I had a chance. Because we all have we all have our paths. We all make we all have free will. We have our choices, right? We do have options, but this person chose wrong. And even though they chose wrong, you chose right. Okay. I know that sounds crazy. Like, I don't know. Like, I feel like they're realizing a little late though. I'm going to get an oracle message for you guys. Maybe I'll get one love card. If this is love, I'm going to get one love card. Just a couple love messages from this person. If this is pertaining to love. And if you guys want to be with this person, because I don't know your story. I don't know if you want to be back with this person or not. You know, um, I'm going to get some messages though, okay? I'm so congested. Oh my God, I can barely even breathe. Okay, we got a couple cards here. So we have, it's time for me to heal now. Yeah, this person might be healing. There might, there might be healing a little late <laughs> uh no one compares to you i'm full of joy in your presence yeah they may be realizing this and finding that yeah i feel like this is someone who goes from flower to flower <laughs> they go from flower to flower oh i remember every detail of that day I'm, I'm hearing something about your pregnancy i am better person because of you yeah something about you guys may have like really triggered this person to heal or you may be um I need more time to figure this out. Yeah, this person is going through something. Because I feel like too, um, wow, this is crazy. Okay, I feel like you guys triggered this person, but it's really hard for them. Like, they have a lot of pride, you guys. I don't know why with the strength card in the reverse. I feel like this person has a lot of pride and ego, and they don't want to admit, like, they need you. <laughs> That's another thing. I feel like they know they need you. Like, this person needs you, and you know this. I feel like this is someone who wanted you to need them. Okay, yeah. Um, it could be a Leo, you know, Leos when they're in love. Um, I know that Leos when they're in love, they want, 
their person to need every they they need their person to like need them they need their person to value them and for and you know that's the low vibration of leo that's not the high vibrational leo that's the low vibrational that's the codependent part of leo because like leos love love but um like if this is a leo or a libra i'm hearing libra they're people pleaser libras they can be in their low vibration they could be people pleasing and you know sort of pessimistic and I don't know. They, they they really are playing both sides. I don't know I'm hearing that with the Seven of Swords. You have the Seven of Swords mirroring the Queen of Swords. Wow. It could be a Libra that wants to tell you the truth. Yeah. I see them being very prideful, especially if they like Leo in their chart. This is a Libra with Leo in their chart. They're very conflicted. Or if they have Virgo, yeah, they're conflicted. Okay. But they know. I feel like they're everything is clear to them now. They know who you are to them. I feel like they know who you are to the world. Yeah, with the star. Oh my god. I think I feel like this scares the shit out of them. Yeah, because it's like a harsh reality when especially when you've been doing it wrong for so long. Like I feel like if you're just like it's one thing to like to completely not know something and just be oblivious to it. But when it's shown to you in front of you, like, hey, like, you've seen me this this long. You sh I showed you this, and I did that, and I acted this way, and you still act like you can't see it. Like, I feel like this is that energy, like, where somebody, you show them who you were. And I feel like you did a lot for this person. You cared for them. You loved them. You had plans, too, to work with them. Like, I feel like you guys could have been a power couple for some of you. And they just like went the other way, man. I don't know. Anyways, it's like really ignorant, like to not even, I don't know. I'm going to get one Oracle message. I'm so congested and I need to go do my reading. I need to do my Libra reading. This is the last one of the day, the last one of the week. So if you guys are connecting to a Libra, um, you do have Libra here in the reading. So if you're connecting to a Libra, that's your confirmation because I'm doing it next. I'm doing Libra next. Um... If you made it this far, take advantage of your free personal readings. They are down below. They are the second, third, and fourth link, you guys. This is a bonus message. It does not have to correlate with the reading. If you guys have already taken advantage of those free personal readings, please leave a black heart below if you enjoyed them. Um, let the audience know that you enjoyed those free personal readings, okay? And if you guys have any ideas um, of what you would like to see on the channel, what titles you'd like to see or what you would like to explore, um, what would you want me to see next? You guys can leave that comment, those comments down below. I will read them. Okay. You guys, um, it says all, oh my God, especially if you're connected to a Sag cause they just got this. Yeah. I just did Sag and they got this. So you guys check out that reading. This is double confirmation that some of you need to check out the Sagittarius reading. There are messages in there for you. Okay. It says all paths lead home, inner, inner authority, intuition, turn your gaze within shit, man. And I think they had Virgo in their chart twice too. I think they had the Knight of Pentacles and the Hermit. So this is about your spiritual path, okay? You could be a Cancer North Node, Virgo North Node, Aquarius North Node. I'm hearing Aries North Node, 11th house, Aries North Node in the 6th house, Aries North Node in the fucking... <laughs> like, oh my God, you got a lot of like... This is like your identity. I'm hearing something about your identity. You know, Aries is the first house, okay? But I'm seeing like two, like your soul. So like... Like your sole purpose. I'm seeing the star, okay? Yeah, you have the star, which is like the north node. I also see Leo when I look at this card because Leo's ruled by the sun and the sun is also a star. So I always see Leo when I look at this card. But anyway, um, yeah, check out Sag's reading because, man, if you have kids with this person, especially if you have children with this person and you guys are no longer together and they broke your heart, um, check out Sag's reading if you have Sag in your chart or if you're dealing with a Sagittarius, okay? I feel like, too, if you have a kid that's a Sagittarius, like, if you have a child that's a Sagittarius that you share with this person, watch that reading. Serious. I don't know. I'm, I'm being I'm being nudged to tell you to watch that reading. If it's Sag, if you're connecting to a Sag child, okay? Because your, your, your Sagittarian child could be telling you about that, that person. All right, you guys, I'm going to get out of here. <laughs> there's so many ways to, there's so many ways to look at it and to see it and discern. But um, I'm, I don't have all the time, all the time in the world, right? So I have to, you know what I mean? I got to move on. Anyways, I love you guys so much. You guys have a wonderful weekend. Namaste.